even though cosmetics have most certainly existed for much longer, the first evidence of cosmetic states from about 6,000 years ago in ancient Egypt. Aloe, myrrh, and frankincense are common among Egyptians. Ancient Egyptians believed these products, particularly frankincense, had anti-aging properties and used them as anti-wrinkle creams. Jane et al., 2009, also reported that men and women in Egypt used scented oils and ointments to clean and smooth their skin and mask body odor as early as 10,000 BC. Egyptian hygiene and well-being were inextricably linked to cosmetics. For protection against the hot sun and dry winds, oils and creams were used. Egyptian customs were exported and utilized by Greeks and Roman. Crocodile excrement, white lead and chalk were commonly used by ladies to enhance the appearance of their skin. They also made face masks out of starch and eggs, which were thought to tighten the skin, reduce wrinkles, and keep the face looking youthful. The term cosmetic comes from the Greek word cosmetos, which means adornment or ornament. Ointments containing cypress, cedar, and incense resins were applied at night. Lead acetate, white lead, and cinnabar were used to treat the skin, Hg. Excessive use of moisturizing creams and lotions used can lead to skin allergies, hormonal problem and can even make your skin's natural repairing mechanism idle in the long run. Dermatologists cautioned, report by Food and Drug Administration, FDA, in 2012, the use of a number of lighteners and creams that included many reputed products that this is irrespective of brand qualities. An important ingredient to these creams is petroleum. It creates a film over the skin to prevent loss of water. This veneer clogs skin pores that throttles cellular development, upsets hormonal activity and can even lead to cancer. The scents that these products contain are synthetic and can cause allergies. Several creams claim to be enriched with sunscreens to fend off harm from the sun rays. Both these ingredients have known to cause a misbalance in hormones, with level of estrogen and progesterone disrupted, fertility problems and even a growth in breast cancer cells have been reported. There is no doubt that creams and moisturizers are an effective way to soften the skin but the continuous application of such creams distracts the natural function of the skin to produce NMFs, natural moisturizing factors. This means the skin assumes that there is no need for the natural production of NFS and the cells are left idle. Healthy skin is assumed to repair itself automatically in normal circumstances.